Okay, now my friends, we just reacted to some fucking uh, interesting uh, opening ceremony stuff. Now let's see what's going on in London. Okay, they probably have to... Okay, get some good shots in where they, they don't have all the crime and so on and so on. But whatever. Anyway, AI Pigeon, fly us to the promised land. Opening trailer. Okay, what is this? Ah, uh, yeah, first Chinese. No, actually, no, no. <laughs> Bro, can they stop jinxing it? Yeah, the, the heavy and the crown and so on and so on. There again and again and again and again, by the way. Castagen! Let's go! Okay. Oh, 就是小时候家里就一个电脑嘛然后我们就一人玩一盘然后有时候我看他打不过别人我就会慌张操作一下就让我对英雄的这个游戏产生了非常大的兴趣<笑> 때를 떠올려 보면 가장 먼저 드는 감정은 아. 분노인 것 같습니다. 여태까지 해왔던 것들이 뭔가 허무하게 무너지는 기분이라서 두렵습니다. 那些回忆又让我们惶惶终日，惴惴不安。在瑞士的时候就也想过我们会十六强回家，因为那个时候我感觉大家对外界的一个压力是有挺大影响。我们的影响是很大的 Look to T1. T1 is the light in the dark. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Every fucking year, man. Every fucking year, man. I get teary eyed. Ah man, family is sitting right in the in the heart right now. Ah, 
Oh, that's great. Take care of your family, man. Take care of them. You don't know how long you're going to have them, right? You don't know how long you're going to have time with them. So take care of your loved ones, man. Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. <sighs> okay. Now back to 2-1. Okay. Hey! Old man Bang! <laughs> Wolf Bing, hey my bros! Hey! Ah, oh, the old. No. Oh, Angel. SFM, oh, the old Sunning crew! Okay. I mean, Icon is uh, at the event. Oh, well, no, Icon was not on Sunning. Icon was BLG, whatever. You're goddamn right. Yes. Yo, executed. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, do man. The jinxes are so real, man. Ah, nah, nah. Ooh. Fifth trophy is for me. You heard it here. You heard it here. You heard it right here. The peak delusion that always carries my belief for T1 in any situation, man. It's going to be, bro. How go how do you feel, man? We're going to be world champions, man. T1 is going to offer the tri trophy for us. The fifth one is for you all. My god, my god. This one, amazing. Like by far better than all the teasers from this year's Worlds together. I mean, I mean, again. I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, what they did so far, but this one fucking carried, right? Because it focused on the players, we got all the personal shots going in, um, and not so much a focus on uh, French artworks or something like that, right? Anyway, now here we are in game number one! Are you hyped yet? Do you feel the passion? Do you feel the energy? We have to deliver it. We have to give it to T1. And now let's talk about the bands. So, no jacks for Bin. I'm a bit sad about this that we don't give it to him in game number one on one side because if we break it, if we break the Bin Jack's first pick or blind pick, right? Then we are so like we're so ready for the for the next few games, right? But it also makes sense to not give Jax to Bin, right? Um, now let's see, Ash. Yes, that's the champion Elk has practiced a lot in the last couple of uh, days. Also a champion that he won is really good at. So they get Ash Skarner. That's pretty fucking good. Now let's see, Se Yone can still be a flex pick, right? Remember, that's one of the strengths T1 has. T1 has a couple of good flex picks coming into this event. Obviously Poppy. Poppy not really the biggest LPL champion. Uh, Nar would be a terrible pick, but Bin, if he's not playing uh, Jax, he's Yordle Merchant. Kennen, Nar, Rumble, these are the champions that he practiced quite a bit in uh, in solo queue coming into this event. And obviously also if you look at his most played champions, la 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 la. So the only downside to this Nar right now is the fact that it reveals that we're not swapping the, uh, the Yone into different lanes. A diff another swap we have is obviously also uh, actually Sejuani, right? That's a, that's something I want to talk about maybe later in the draft when Jax is not banned or something like that, right? Because uh, Zeus has played uh, two Sejuani games. He goes like AP tank Sejuani and oh no, 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 no. Yeah, pick something like that. No, no, not Smolder, not Smolder. Please, no Smolder. Just, just not Smolder. Okay, oh, thank God. Oh my God, we forgot to ban Smolder. Luckily, it didn't really end up uh, in a bad situation. We banned Kalista, which makes sense, right? Elk spammed that champion. Kalista, Ezreal, he spammed that in uh, in solo queue, and obviously he's good at that, and the champion is good at it. Um, on picked some uh, Bard. We don't need to be uh, careful of Bard here, I think. What else do they have cooking? Wei has already picked his champion, so we're looking for a support and for a top lane counter pick. 
but the thing is, we have already picked the Nar. Now we can ban out counter picks. Uh, not sure what we are really scared of here. Um, I think we should just look into uh, like, yeah, maybe support bans or something like that. I don't know. Because like, what is he going to pick against the Nar? That's going to be an absolute disaster. Is he going to pick something like, uh, like what is it? Irelia? Is Camille still considered good against Nar? I don't think so. Obviously, Bin Camille, that's uh, scary. But uh, yeah, with that. Okay, Jin and Zix. I mean, uh, not really sure. Obviously, a supp more support of AD carry coming in here might be something. Um, if we need some a AP, interesting thing is Guma. I mean, maybe not against this composition. Maybe that would be a bit. Well, actually, against Silas, who knows? But Guma has picked Kogma, AP Kogma in solo queue. Uh, obviously, like, what does that mean? Is he going to pick it? Obviously, probably not. But we'll have to see. Renata and uh, Rakan bands coming in. Obviously, quite interesting. But they're going to leave the R5 for the support position. So now let's see T1's bot lane here. What's it gonna be against Ash? It's a bit tricky, right? Um, Zaya against Ash is kind of iffy. Zaya against the other champions is a bit better. Uh, Caitlyn Lux! But Lux? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, right? Lux? What is that? Okay. I mean, what is it? There's Braum they picked last time, but actually Braum is kind of fine here. They could pick Lux just for the skin. That was also another narrative that I wanted to talk about, that T1 needs to pick Lux in this finals because they really need to, yeah, okay, they're going to go back with the Braum again. And the Braum obviously, like, helps a lot, right? Against the Ash Arrow, you can jump in front, you can put down the uh, the door, and it's going to be okay. Against these Bruiser and Short Range Champions, you can do something. Um, but, uh, yeah. With oh, Seraphine, that would be a quite... Oof, I, yeah, BLG comp looks really mean. And Braum now, actually, with the... Okay, okay, thank God. He just picks the worst option, I, I, f I feel, right? Obviously, it adds to the engage, it adds to the team fighting potential, but a Seraphine or or uh, or Bard, right, could have had, uh, put more layers on top of the BLG composition, right? It would give, give uh, them more tools, right? Because Rel is now... Rel is just the same champion as Skarner, right? It's just like, okay, I go in. It's just more consistency because they have more options to go in, right? But a Bard ultimate... That could have been not really too scary, but that could have been always annoying, right? Bard's ultimate is, I think, one of the strongest abilities in the game. It's so underutilized, uh, just like Bard in general is. Um, and Bard. Hey, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Now back with T1 content at Worlds. Let's go, let's go. Okay, my friends, here we are. Game number one. The first couple of seconds already in, and they're trying to attack Faker. Or is it Guma? I don't know, man. They want to get some of. Oh boys, let's see. So it's the grasp for Faker. Obviously, grasp has become more and more popular, and I think against Silas, even though the matchup is just pretty good, uh, I think it's a fine idea. Guma here. Oh my God! Look at the cheese. Guma, did he level E or did he not? Oh, he does not see it coming. Now they flash, and he still gets the first blood. Oh my God! No, no. Ah, shit. Okay, interesting here. Faker is into Knight's ability. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Faker, he's still playing Yon, right? But Knight still has two... What is it? Uh, you know what it is, right? Two potions. So that's pretty annoying here. He goes in with the W. Yeah, that was not the best trade here for Faker, right? He went in while he was still level 4 and Knight was level 5. So he had the extra ability and now he's chunking him. And yeah. Zeusia flashes away and I yeah, yeah, Jun with the follow flash. Shiba! Uh, I was not paying attention. I was looking at uh, mid lane, right? So I didn't see that gank coming in on top. Uh, it's two flashes for one. Ah, uh, shit, man. Uh, the Caitlyn composition is falling behind early game. Hey, uh, 
But yeah, I mean, he's just getting chunked down here already. Right, Bin flashes forward. And Jun, perfect drive by IAEA. Pretty unfortunate there. Harry has his next level on the horizon and K Boomer has the okay what is this carrier here called out they're going to focus on him CC chain to death flash W's to the side but it's just not enough and we get one grub but then we have to bail out and leave the area uh. but it's so so greedy like why flash so late it feels like you, you could have flashed away like earlier no uh, now let's see elk is not level six so it's not that scary but uh yeah this overall we're a bit on the back foot right now but whatever here yeah, they're looking for aggressive moves here owner Get CC chained probably to death. Oh, actually, he manages to Q fla uh, flash Q away, but that's pretty tough. But look at bot. But look at bot. Right? Would be cool if we get to steal one of the grubs. Yes, Guma. And he steals one. That's so big, man. Five to one grubs would have been so cringe. But Faker num, 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 collects the TP tags, collects some plates, right? And yeah, two grubs, that's so fine. Bot uh, top lane, hopefully we can get there in time to not lose out too much on the gold and CS and the la 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 la. But that's good. Our opponent's doing good. This is uh, always helpful. Zeus, not sure what you are cooking here, but let's see, let's see. TP comes in from Faker. Oh, double stun against the wall! Okay, 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 that's the first one down. Elk has the flash, but he, oh, actually he flashed already. That's two kills, let's go, man. Let's go, T1 so bad. Okay, bot lane situation looks maybe a bit rough, but that's just a rumble. Um, cope. No, okay, they're moving up to top, so we're not getting too many plates, just the one. Minions, do you work better? Where's my plate, where's my plate? Anyway. Two kills and elk, no summoner spells. Let's go. It just cost. I mean, we also use some summoner spells for that, but hey, 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 let's go, let's go. Yes. Okay. Now, top lane, obviously, Zero's first item a bit more expensive. He also went into the cull route, which obviously is going to delay the first item's fight by a bit. But uh, yeah, that means obviously, if we want to fight right now, not the greatest spot, right? Our boy still wants some time, right? And jungle. Cheaper item for owner, but he has it. And obviously, Jun, I mean, hard steel, you know how I feel about that item. <laughs> um, but the thing is, yeah, he obviously 101, got some assists, got some kill goal. Going to be a trade here in Tur. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. What are we doing? Uh, we're losing top lane turret, first blood turret. We're giving over Harold uh, for a uh, Chemtech Dragon. Are we committing for this mid lane turret that much? Uh, uh, come on, man. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. What the fuck are we doing? What the fuck? Kill for the AD what was that, man? That's like 5,000 gold gone. Mid lane turret lost. Three kills given over. Bot lane turret lost. Charge into the next inner turret as well because no one can defend. We're still on the on the reset timer. That is three turrets and three kills given over. No, actually, it's four turrets because we lost top lane turret. We lost all mid lane turrets. We lost bot lane turret. For what? Jerking around in mid lane, getting that turret, overextending fucking 10 inches. Oh my fucking god, man. Like, obviously the Zero's hop is... Like, we don't need to talk about that one. That is just... I mean, that's a mechanical blunder, but that's not the problem. Like, the mechanical blunder is, like, bad enough. What the hell are we doing? Carrier, why are we in the enemy fucking red buff? Why are we in the enemy red buff area? We just got cut. There are Hextech portals. They're obviously going to be here super fast. What are we doing? What are we doing here right now? Oh my god, like I get it not fighting Harold and doing Dragon instead, but like that doesn't mean that you can give over like everything. That doesn't mean that we need to five-man commit for mid lane. Uh, what is it? Turret. 
Like why? Like why is the TP so late? Like Bin needs to get killed here. Like. Oh. Yeah, I mean that was illegal. Okay, top lane owner gets his own ult into his face. Carrier, can he save him? No. For some reason, Carrier is not fast enough. We're losing an inner turret. Jesus Christ, man. What is going on? Where are our balls? They're just gone. And like they're there where our minds are. We're just losing everything. We're losing a fucking like inner turret. I mean, this is a bit, this is not really that great from BLG, honestly. But oh, actually, we have not gotten the turret yet. Okay, that is not that bad, right? I mean, sure, it's another turret, but this turret is not as valuable as the turret we got. So, like, at least it's a trade back, but what the fuck, man. But again, we still have that one ward at the Baron, right? But the thing is, wards don't last forever. It's going to run out, right? It's just a couple more seconds. And now we should be... Yeah, we know. Now we know. They're doing Baron. We know. Things are coming in. We're walking the long way around. Now let's see Knight here on the flank. Not sure if he has been spotted. Now he has. Old comes through somehow again. Lands on Guma. Didn't know Caitlyn. Caitlyn had such a big kick that uh, that that hit on her back. But whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guma didn't flash because he also thought that that didn't hit. But uh, you know how it goes, right? Now the problem is now we play this again 4v5 and let's see let's see can owner get the smite in no they're just going for this okay can we fight this no i think we're just yeah yeah okay so we're going into the next one bye bye my friends oh man wait what's this oh no Oh, he gets a solo kill with 3,000 gold lead. Yay, cool for you. That's what it is. Ah, uh, Shiba. Man, this game is so fucked. Can we go next, please? Such a shitty game, man. Like, literally everything went wrong in the early game for our champions, right? And then, I mean, it's not the biggest of issues, but the next... Bro, what? Bro, what? How did that still hit? I'm not asking questions. Let's go into the next game. Ay, 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 man. Overall, I think, like... Yeah, whatever. I mean, they win it not defending this. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. Whatever. Next game, next game. Okay, we're here in the draft of game number two. Nothing happened. Uh, we're just starting the series with a 1-0 deficit, right? To make it fair or something. Uh, yeah, we we banned some champions. We banned the Yon. That's not a good look. That's not a good look. The Yon was not the issue. The, like, no champion, no individual play was the issue. The biggest issue was the macro calls that led to a fucking 5,000 gold deficit. Which, if you have the champions that we have, you're just cooked. Um, can obviously have a conversation that Caitlyn Braun might be a bit of a questionable bot lane. And I would agree with that one, but... That wasn't even the biggest of issues here. Whatever. We picked the Kalista. This time it's not banned, right? Uh, so that's that's cool. We get Kalista uh, and um, what is the champion called? It is Renata. So that's at least something we like to play, right? Faker gets Silas. He can steal some cool ults. But the other side, I mean, they still get uh, pretty scary champions, right? Rumble. Uh, bit missed in priority, but uh, like in the semifinals, it feels like. But that champion can obviously still be quite scary. Um, now, we'll see what bans come through. Kindred here being a good ban, right? Kindred, uh, Wukong. Uh, what else did, uh, what else did Jun play? The problem is Jun and Wei. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I found Wei's, uh, what is it, solo queue account, but I have not found Jun, so I don't know if he practiced something spicy. But uh, Wei played Morgana, Jace, uh, not Jace, Jarvan and Wukong, so. Uh, Kindred here being uh, an interesting ban against Jun uh, directly because he's a Kindred player. Wukong should be... yeah, nice. Okay, so that's that. Sejuani and the Nar, so... right? 
three bands against our owner. I guess with Wukong, that's four. Now they're going to pick jungle, I assume, here. That's the go to the arena, Sin Zhao. Now let's see what owner has in pocket, right? Um, against Sin Zhao, what, what do you pick there? Hmm. I don't know. What does he what does he have left? Obviously we have uh, a pretty aggressive comp, so who Orn? I mean Orn's pretty good against uh, some of the BLG champions, to be honest here. First Orn at the event. Uh, no That's a Nocturne lock in. It's also very long range. Uh, whatever, I don't know. Let, let them cook, let them cook. Please, come on. Don't pick Seraphine, don't pick anything good. Just pick something cringe or something. Yeah. I, I, uh, his Rakan's quite decent, yeah. But yeah, no, let's talk about it again. Obviously, botlane matchup is just a horror, right? I mean, honestly, sure, Kalista Renata can be. It's like, yeah, we destroy people. But I mean, in the end, it's the uh, Kalista versus Ash. It's a disaster, man. Oh my god. So there are good ults to skill for Silas. I don't know what this owner like Nocturne is doing here in this game, especially with without Aurora, without Oriana. I think Nocturne is a, is a, is a bad champion without these. Sure, the ult is cool. We'll have to see. Obviously, it's a bit of a counter against Galio ult because you can't see uh, stuff and then you can't ult your teammates. So that's that. Okay, my friends, let's hope we are not falling for any of their early game shenanigans. Please, like... Please no man, we spotted on, so all five men stack already, actually it's only three men, whatever. So our stack, not that great. What the hell is that skin? Oh, is that the chicken skin? Okay, interesting. But yeah, I mean, ay ay ay. Like you're fucking kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? Like, hello? Nah, nah. What, what, what are they doing? What is going on? Like, hello? Guma? Like from like deathless, the like for for fucking eight series or something, he gets fucking first blooded twice in a row. Our bot lane starts with zero summoner spells. Like what the fuck are we doing? Like huh? Like huh? What like what are we looking for? A fucking ward or something? Like Jesus Christ, man! That that is like, what are they doing? Like it's not even just like oh. Oh my god, B like, I mean the first one in game number one, you can at least like, oh yeah, BLG is so smart, right, going over the wall and looking for a cheesy play, play. it's like, okay, haha. But like in this one, we just literally walk into a fucking Rakan W there. I mean, Silas versus, uh, what's his name, Galio is also a horror matchup. What are what is going on? Uh, did someone, I don't know, poison their food, threaten their families? Like, did the CCP make a call or something? Like, what's going on here? Like, eh? Silas is getting fucking dived. I mean, they're just right clicking him. Okay, now at least level two. Bro, you gotta play. Okay. Ono is going to die, so that's at least something. But Jun only gets one turret shot, so that's unfortunate. He's going to miss all the uh, minions. They're going to get at least one plate. Uh, Bin at least not level 6, so he can't ult anything here. Ooh, owner with the hide on bush ward. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, mid lane is a bit annoying, right? I mean, both are anti mage champions, but uh, it's what it is. Okay, so at least, right, the, the, the dive being a one for one could have been worse, could have been better, right? It's like one of these situations. Cool, miss every skill shot. Now they TP behind us. That's cool. Who is TPing? Is it Galio? Yeah. And Guma still doesn't have flash. That's just a double kill, right? Owner comes around, but I don't think Owner can help. Uh, what are we doing? Oh my god, that is so scary. That is that was so scary. That was so scary there. That could have been so bad. Guma, please be careful. Oh, that, 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 that was a horror. That was a horror. That like we had more luck, and I don't know. 
good fortune on us than anything. I think BLG wasn't sure how fast Faker was. That's why they like bailed. Here for us, the good thing is we like our champions. We have Orn and Renata. These, these are some of the best champions, not the best, right? There are others that are good, but these are like some of the best champions in like, oh, you run into us, we're going to kill you, right? Um, in game, by the way. So we aren't the best in making proactive plays, right? That that's the thing with the what is the champion um, Nocturne in this game, right? This is not a Nocturne that ults and goes in. At least, oh my god, uh, probably ran out. I don't know. What are we doing? Why are we fighting between turrets? Hello? Like, look at board. Look at board. Hello? We need to get kills here. Okay, there's the old or an old cancelled or an under turret flashes away i mean that's just so messy like why are we diving here like eh it's like somehow it works out because we are like literally like gods 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 whatever but uh, luckily this camera is there because look at bot lane plates go over okay recall comes through at least orn has tp so he could go there no he needed to go fast on this carrier who has the bailout Oh, no bailout for Guma, shutdown for Zeus. Uh, what Zeus? For Bin. Yeah, again, by the way, uh, sure the dive, <laughs> not a big fan, but the thing is, we saw Owner not going full ballistic Uga Booga missile into the enemy team, right? With Knight already being there, it's not the biggest of issues, but, or like it didn't really matter too much, but the idea obviously is if there's no light, Bin can TP, Knight can't ult, that's cool. Okay, there is the arrow. It's going to hit Guma again, man. Guma, I mean, and he still cleanses. Jeez. Anyway, look at mid lane. Look at mid lane. Owner is about to have a snack. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, man. Let's go, owner. Let's go. Let's go, owner. Let's go. Split push, owner. Split push. Let's go, let's go. We're still obviously working away on this top lane turret. Owner. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Okay. Still gets away, is on a ward, obviously with six grubs, no, we're just <laughs> ASMR by the way. Uh, breathing onto the turret and it falls over, very nice. Now let's see, let's see, gold leads across the board, very nice, very nice. T1 with a bit of muscling and BLG, I don't know man, the champions obviously want to fight as well to some extent, right? Uh, but I think they are a bit too greedy or a bit too stubborn, maybe, that's a better word, I don't know. Orn scales fucking great, but... Uh, like overall, like our team runs out of damage in the later game stages, right? Even though owner's good and it's like I trust carrier to play, make plays and so on and so on and buy time and that so on and so on. But uh, yeah, we're running out of damage here. Uh, sure, Fakers, you're getting in some nice trades and all of that. Really nice, haha. But uh, yeah, we're going to see what build uh, bin, uh, Knight goes for. Oh, TP comes in from Faker, whereas Knight goes for a recall and then probably looks to TP. Uh, he might also just walk. No, he's going to go for the TP. So yeah, that's just, yeah, I don't know. Don't like that. Faker values like the getting there immediately, but it's going to be obviously not full HP. That's the flash forward. They are layering their abilities. But Sinjao ult gets Faker over the wall. There it is! The massive Wombo combo! Knight tries to ult away, but he's going to get slain as well. Two survivors for BLG. The rest is in the GGG graveyard. Now let's see what can we get. There's a way for Bin to collect. We don't like that. Uh, can we go immediately for the... I think we could greet for Dragon as well on respawn, right? But oh, actually, hello. Is no one helping owner? <laughs> hello, help my owner. But uh, yeah, that was misplay, I think, by BLG. There's like some anti-synergies with Sinjou ult, right? If you use it aggressively, because Faker gets away from the uh, burn of the Rumble ult. And now, sure, this could be a bit scary, right? But uh, I think overall we're fine here. And yep. Nice. This is again what we want to see. Sure, it could have resulted in Faker dying. But even if Faker dies, I think it's going to be okay in that play, right? Because they have done the thing where they rush in and we are Renata and Orn. And we clobber them to death. We picked up the Herald. We picked up some kills. Game going good so far. Let's not lose our minds because again... We have to, like this game, it's, uh, we're not facing smolder or any bullshit like that, but again, we have to be careful, we have to keep 
the foot on the gas, we need to keep the pressure up, we need to get the gold in, because, hey, these champions in the late game stages, who's going to kill them? Well, I don't know, not someone on our team at least. Um, like, sure, I kind of need to remind myself that Kalista is not the same champion she was, I don't know, eight years ago, but... Uh, Still, she's not a reliable late game DPS threat, right? Also, why are we. I mean, cross mapping with Harold is. Yeah, cross mapping Harold and Six Scrubs is fine. I was thinking, like, we are ahead. Do we need to give Bin this turret the top lane? But actually, Faker is there anyway, so it's not that bad. Yeah, picking up the bot lane in a turret here. Zeus. La la la. la picked up the minions. Good for him, good for him. Harold probably will. I don't know. I don't know. I think that was a good window to maybe go for uh, like a greedy push with Harold as well, going for the inner turret there. When uh, like either we get Bin's TP or like sure he has fun with the turret, but we are going to go for a one for two turret trade and one of them being an inner turret because like heralding this mid lane turret, sure it's imp oh, okay. Asharov, nah, Elk, how do you feel? How do you feel getting Ash Arrow yourself? Annoying, right? Because. Yeah, I mean, this turret decently free, six scrubs just do that for you. Six scrubs is so overpowered, man. It's just, it's just so cringe. It's like every time I see it, I'm just surprised uh, again and again. So one to one on dragons. So the dragon stacking of the, uh, well, arguably not so relevant soul. I don't know. I think if BLG, if they get something like the soul here in this game, it's just annoying, right? Because in, in the, the overall sense, their composition is already so tanky for us, right? Because our damage is so low and they, I mean, they have Jun ult, they have On, which, I mean, he gives shields, I guess, kind of. Uh, Knight is decently tanky, right? They have these hard to kill champions. Let's just call it that. And if they get a defensive soul, right? Mountain would be a horror. Mountain would be... Bleh. Anyway, Zeus here on the flank. Let's see what he can do. Calls the ult. There it is. Boom, bada -ba boom, pow. That's a dead elk. With flash, with everything up. Let's see how many more we can get. Can we get the dive? Ah, uh, bleep. Faker though says, let's go. There's Knight's ult also forced out. That's pretty cool because if you look at the right of your screen, you see Knight's ult actually won't be up <laughs> in this game anymore. And uh, yeah, sure, that's Faker's TP, but we get, I mean, we get a kill, we get a flash, we get Knight's ult on a fucking five minute cooldown. Pretty fucking cool, I'd say. And we pick up a dragon as well. So. Sure, not the fastest dragging stacking, but it is what it is. But honestly, that's not the most realistic situation. Okay, Faker here just walks out of that one. He has the flash, he has the E. They give up, they give up. It's aura, it's aura, right? They group up as four and Faker is like, I challenge you, I challenge you. Um, obviously, uh, that's just my delusions, right? Actually, nothing has happened. Faker here. Please don't use the E randomly. They're still camping that brush. The E and uh, he didn't pay attention, I think. Oh, but he gets the old off carrier. Is there in the area? Can he give the bailout to Faker in time? Yes, he gets it. Actually, give it on to owner. Now the TP comes in. We're not. What are we doing anyway? Who's TPing there? Oh, it's Knight's TP. Okay, yeah, then it doesn't matter. I think. Ah, uh, Faker with the flash. Galio Q. <clears throat> Say it with me, my friends. Unkillable demon king strikes again. The heathens sneakily try to attack him, but T1's faker sends supreme with the flash and obviously the help of his friends. He makes it out. T1 secures the first Baron in finals, and Baron six grubs, big schlongs in the pocket. Very nice champions. Looks good. Looks good so far. Now, I mean, Faker here, oh, we have to be honest, he probably was F-keying or something, right? Because, uh, I don't know, that I, I think he should be able to react to that, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Especially, like, we have seen Faker reaction time, like, on other things, right? I mean, there are many famous clips about him doing all kinds of things, but, uh, like, also being ballsy like that to here stay for this, so that, uh, I mean, the, the idea here is, right, if he stays, uh, that means Knight is not going to TP and immediately run away, right? Um, what was, uh, anyway, um, so even if he dies, if he trades one for one with Knight, I think he thinks it's okay. 
uh, because him dying is actually also not the worst of things because especially if knight gets the kill because um that sure it's going to be a shutdown given over uh but a shutdown for a galio i mean like with all due respect that's just nothing right um so yeah now so far so good 12k roughly the lead again we brief onto a tower and uh or blow onto a tower whatever and uh, it's going to be gone so that's cool and that's needed because uh, have you seen the range of our champions it's like five minis right um we'll see we'll see what is this damage done <laughs> oh they expect another team fight coming through <laughs> interesting well anyway faker you're showing off a bit hitting some abilities over walls but uh yeah i mean we're just playing the waiting game should probably should have buffed up the mid lane wave a bit earlier so the cannon minion doesn't go into the tower uh, whatever actually oh there's okay carriers flash has been blown but that's also one of the best engaged tools gone now let's see guma can he stand tall against the adversaries of his friends coming in i mean the best engage is the counter engage or whatever right it's like they get attacked right they rush into guma and the rest of t1 instead of immediately i don't know coming to his help they just attack instead uh very smart obviously right because on and knight even if they die fully onto guma are not going to kill him and t1 with a amazing ge next game i think sure BLG did a few oopsies i think there were um Obviously, the biggest one in my eyes is uh, the one in the, at the top tower, right? Where they st stuck around, didn't want to play cross map, just hand shook like this iffy situation, staying under turret, getting harassed again and again. Uh, but I mean, the draft is so good. Sure, there's an issue if this draft falls behind. Again, sure, they still have the Renata, they still have the Orn for like cool things. But I mean, Nocturne and Kalista from behind. Aye, 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 aye. So, like these T1 drafts in both games, right? It's like a similar story with the, um, like, I guess, Nar and especially the Kalista, uh, not Kalista, the Caitlyn, right? In the previous one. It's like if these T1 compositions fall behind, they're just not doing too much. And we played the game really well. I think T1 is probably one of the best snowballing teams in the game. So that worked out pretty well. And especially if you have six grubs and so on and so on. Sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that the game was over at any point, right? This BLG composition, they have team uh, capabilities to make comebacks. They have the Ash Arrow, right? That could have been quite the scary game. Um, so yeah, we are probably, I don't know, man. Can we play some uh, cleaner comps? <laughs> Whatever, who knows? Okay, by the way, obviously I'm on and off with my headphones because of all the motions and I'm snacking a bit in the break here, but I mean, where's my goat? Where's Atlas? Where are the LCK casters? With Chronicler on the desk. Very nice. Good job by him. But with all due respect, it's like LPL versus LCK and we have, what is that, five, like three European casters? I mean, not even saying they're doing a bad job. I just like Atlas a lot and obviously having like casters that know these teams better objectively <laughs> would have been so much cooler but it is what it is eh. okay now varus comes in as a band aurora still banned let's talk about this obviously t1 now on the red side let's lock in lock in and yeah yon ban i mean i think our red side bans are easier because sure it's red side but like now the question is do we ban jacks again do we ban Jax? Or, or, do, you feel or to let them, uh, do we ban the Jax? You know, the Let's see. Ash and uh, Skana banned, so BLG first pick whatever is left open, and then we can't get Ash, uh, Skana as like uh, R3, uh, R1, R2 rotation. I think we still ban the Jax bin so far as expected. On non Jax champions, has not looked as good, right? So, like, it's not that he. Oh, Nico, Nico, Ni. That leaves. Yeah, they have to first pick Jax now for their Jax merchant. But that leaves open a Sejuani top lane counter pick <laughs> for our boy Zeus. Oh, they actually go with the Kalista. Okay. But the, I mean, I think for BLG, Kalista is the better first pick because now it's like, oh, T1, do you want to pick the Jax instead? Do you want to pick the Jax? Uh, 
Because now if T1 does not pick Jax, they get Kalista and Jax. Yeah. Jax, Vi, or, Ren or Renata makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vi now should be the next one. So they should look for top lane counter plus... Um, no, actually, what do you pick here? Top lane counter may not matter. So I guess support and... You should pick Vi away from owner. I mean, there's still Sejuani, so I don't know. He's going to go for Rumble again. Is he fearful of it getting banned? And he doesn't have any other thing, uh, anything else. Okay. Yeah, sure. He spams the champ. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Blazing of uh, casters. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Blitzcrank. Ay, ay, ay. Blitzcrank obviously a counter to the Renata, right? Uh, oh, yeah, that's scary, right? Elk and On on Callista or Ballista, how it's sometimes called. It's just. Uh, it's rough, right? This is a champion for On that he had like in his repertoire. Uh, yeah, similarly to Lehens, right? They're picking it not as often, like not Lehens picks it with the Maokai often, right? Uh, obviously, Maokai ult and into rocket grab, easy combo. But uh, here they're going for like knock up into grab into uh, yeah all kinds of early game aggression. So we'll have to see what kind of AD carry are we picking here that can like survive like rumble and blitzcrank. We need an AD carry with a dash. Are we looking for Zaya? Are we going to look for? Uh, Ezreal. Is Ezreal fine? Obviously, BLG now might look into more AD carry bans, right? Already two AD bans gone. On the other side, T1 looks like we're attacking the pool of a uh, knight, which I don't think is that good. Maybe we're banning out some... Oh, actually, they go for Sejuani Vi bans now. So they want to make owner uncomfortable, but Wukong, okay, yeah, good ban, good ban. I think the Wukong ban is much better than any other... I don't know, like a Galio ban or like whatever, uh, like else. Um, Draven. What? Draven here? I don't know if I want to pick Draven. Sure, Draven against Kalista is like good or regarded as good, but I don't know. Yeah, Vi has to be picked here. It's going to be picked away other way, any other way. And now we have Ezreal on R5 or something like that. Kindred. Galio. That's a slam down. Zaya. I mean, I like Zaya for Guma better than Ezreal, but I think Ezreal might be a bit of a better champion here in this game, no? Because Zaya R against Blitzcrank Hook, not the coolest interaction that you want to go for. But, uh, I mean, Ezreal E sometimes is not enough to get away from Galio ult, whereas Zaya R is, because obviously you're in the air, he's not going to knock up you. So... I think, obviously, if you look at our champions, it's very fucking cool. Uh, I think BLG's composition is a bit weird, right? Because they have, like, I don't know, they have, like, engaged, not engaged. It's like, their composition, like, their champions all want to do, like, kind of, like, all, like, kinds of different things. Sure, T1 has, like, Vi, Silas, and Jax, which... If you look at them just like that, like that, it's like, yeah, sure, they want to go in. They want to go smash your face. And if if they get dragged, if you want to get dragged into this, like, get, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Against Kalista, Rumble, Kindred, and Galio. Ugh, yikes, that can be really rough. That can be really rough. But if we stand our ground and let them come into us, I think we're going to be in a fine spot, right? And I think that's uh, that's something that our champions can do. A Vi, sure, sure, she can go for the longest ultimate in the world and ult into the backline, but she can also ult the person that goes in, right? She can like Q ult combo the Kindred and hey, no ult through and whatever, whatever, right? So I hope that uh, we can play it through that angle. I have to see again exactly how the range is going on in this game. Uh, because obviously if T1 plays for stand your ground composition, stand your ground comps lose against range or against high range in some semblance, right? It depends on what stand your ground comp you have. Either you have a melee destroyer or you have a stand your ground we poke. Whatever you... I don't know what the lingo is for this. I'm making names up, right? So that's that. 
regardless. So the Blitzcrank hook can be a bit scary, but I think everything else is good for us, right? We can't just chill at a spot if we get there first and BLG is forced to go into us. I think we're winning. So with that being said, let's hope that we can go and like play the game like that, like that, and that we're not, and that that we play the champions and the plan the champions don't play us, right? Because if Jax controls Zeus, Jax wants to go in, but Zeus does not want to go in, or at least he should not want to go in. Obviously, talking about like in most cases, right? You don't want to run into these champions. I think we can all agree. And it's good if they run into our champions, way better, right? Because if Zeus own a Faker go forward, Guma and Carrier are just stuck there. And well, then space opens up, they're getting isolated, killed one by one, and so on and so on. Now we see here a swap coming through. And obviously Blitzcrank can be very annoying for Zeus to deal with now in a potential like lane swap, right? Galio is just so good early on, right? Has way more wave clear than uh, many people might think, and obviously the sh shit. Book lands, handshake misses, E misses as well. Yeah, not the greatest of traits. They get our heal, but uh, nothing more, nothing more. Yeah, it's it's just a bit unfortunate, but we'll see, we'll see. Ward on the scuttle crap. This owner looking for something. He's now on vision, getting pinged. Oh no, no, no. Used his Q. There's the slow owner. Yeah, I mean, this is just cringe, man. That's fucking three flashes for owner. Ripperino. And the unfortunate situation is this. Jun gets the mark because he gets an assist and he steals the camp. Fucking annoying, man. You technically uh, took away my first mark. Guess what? You were marked. And we got the kill on you. So oh, kill yeah. Cringe. Yeah, that was just, I don't know, a bit too aggressive by owner. Especially, like, you can't you can't get, grab that, right? It's not a mark. It's not that important. You have no push in mid. You have no push on top. Just unnecessary. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Secures the kill. We get to see some blitzcrank value there. Goes in immediately. Make well, at least owner gets one grub, but that's annoying. Okay, so neutral objectives going into BLG's mouth. Not so cool, right? They get some picks, and obviously, yeah, we have to be a bit respectful of our friend the blitzcrank, right? Next thing is, we really want our ults across the board. Some have already come in. Items though far far from being there and yeah it's just a bit unfortunate for now but I believe that we will make a comeback right we're still in touching distance everywhere XP are well even so it's it's going to be okay okay so bin pushed a wave into top it's going to pick up plate that's unfortunate but uh, we'll see See, we'll see. Holds the wave. Wait a second. What is this? Are they looking for a dive onto Zeus here? That's the E. And I mean, Jun is also here. Wait a moment. Where's my team at? Hello, hello. Wait, what the fuck? Beautiful reward there for BLG getting their first. Faker goes in, gets CC chained, there's the hero's entrance, there's the TP as well, Knight is there, where is Guma at? Oh my god, Zeus doesn't have TP, so even in 3 seconds when he comes around, he's just not going to be there, Kara is going to fall down, Faker, let's see where he can go, but Jesus Christ man, that was, just, what are we guys doing man? So beautifully done there. From BLG. As you say, they're not done yet. Don't tell me Faker got it. Oh, but he didn't spot him. He doesn't actually know if he interrupted him or not. He's fishing for him. He's hunting. He wanted to fake it the Now he's seen him. Okay, now he sees, but yeah, Faker probably has the execute ready, right? Faker! What is he doing? Why didn't he execute? I mean, sure, Faker bought a lot of time, but oh my god, man. 
Losing my fucking mind here. Oh, what? Hey, 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 what the hell? Next, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. With no counterplay, our bot lane moves up. They're still here. Hello. Okay, carry as. Yeah, sure. Q lands. Yeah, sure. Fuck you, man. And they got five grubs because of all that nonsense. Yeah, I'm, this game is already so fucked again. Okay, TP onto bots. They have six grubs. We're just losing. They just take the next turret, by the way. Hello. Hello, they're taking an inner turret. Oh my god, insane play in these team fights, but that actually What is Bro talking about? Okay, that's quite nice, but it just buys a bit of time, but like we're losing everything. Jesus Christ man, the glazing is insane! A fucking Galio Q's a wave! <laughs> Jesus Christ man! Keep on taking down these towers. Open up more space on the map for you oh to my God. So aggressively with these blitz frames. So insane. So fucking insane. A Galio Q autos a wave. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh my god. He just shuts down all of T1's plays. Most talented player in the world. Jesus fucking Christ. Resetting after the rift herald as night puts just look at the pressure that BLG is feeling right now on the mini map. It feels like that everything so, is like they have five grubs in Harrow. This is by the way the Harrow play that I was talking about in the in the previous game where it's like uh why didn't we go for that? Yeah, we lose again a two for one turret a two for one turret trade. Actually last time we didn't even get that one turret in bot lane, right? So it was a two for zero turret trade. And this time it's a two for one turret trade. You look at the gold, it's fucking Jover man. Kindred now with a lead, free stacking. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Obviously, like items need to come in. Our composition is like, I, I'd argue better in scaling. Um, but we need to get there, we need to get there, right? And like, it's hard to scale when there are five grubs in the game, right? They just have the five grubs and there's the rocket grab, silence, Uma with the ult. And does he get the grab back? Okay, that's cool, it's all on the turret. Faker comes around, he has the Galio ult. But so far it's just a one for one, also your own teammates, yeah. Like T1 played that fight quite well, but the problem is obviously we're like 6,000 gold behind, right? So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, one for one, it's okay, but yeah. And here Jun gets the mark, that's just yeah, unfortunate, right? That's Kindred from ahead versus Kindred from behind. Difference, big difference. Four marks now, so Ono was marked. That's also unfortunate. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, Shiva. And yeah, here we see. This is why I thought like maybe we go for Ezreal, right? Because Ezreal has an easier time against the rocket grabs, right? Guma here. Like, sure, he was a bit late. He, maybe he could have ulted it, but yeah, I don't know. You just don't want to trade a Q for an ult, right? It's just like ah, uh, rough. And it's just so fucking annoying, man. It's uh, it, like these champions from BLG, when they're behind, it's like uh, 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 yuck, right? But when they're ahead, it's just so rough, man. A kindred from behind is nothing. A kindred from ahead is so can be so oppressive, right? Because obviously, she, like it's a gift that keeps on giving, right? She gets uh, like further and further ahead with the mark system and so on and so on. She gets jungle camps from you, right? So she's going to like now owners actually behind in CS, right? Sure, Guma also has been uh, now like farming his camps, so that's something, right? That's how Guma is that far ahead. Now, are you ready for the five-man top lane play? We're all going in on tonight. By the way, who has the damage there? I mean, I I don't know who, but like at least somehow, some way, like we think we have damage here. I don't know. Faker with the stolen Galio. Like Guma is still not here. I don't know what the fuck this idea was. We just want to go next, I guess. Okay, then let's go next, I guess, right? And Guma now gets, yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, what the fuck, okay, next game. Okay, we're close here to the next game, but we're going for another play on tonight again, because uh, obviously that's a guy w that we can uh, one-shot so easily, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, our base is being destroyed, I just, I just don't fucking want this anymore. I mean, like, what, is, what, what are they doing, man? Aye, aye, aye. T1 looks like, I mean... They look so bad today. It's just so unfortunate. What, what's going on? What, like, what is going on? Like, BLG is not playing bad, but I mean, we're not losing your mind to like the plays they are making. Right? I mean, it's like literally, like, hey, 
run there. I was like, oh, T1 is just completely on pick somewhere else. Hey, let's pick up this one guy that's alone. Hey, let's pick up this one guy that's alone, right? It's like... Okay, let's let's watch for the comeback mechanic here. Under the tower, the tower is gone. Jun here is going to not fall down. Already Renata dead. Leo's here in the thick of things. Does he have an ability or something? He jumps onto Elcaster, thanks. With the E forward, immediately gets one kill. Leo here doesn't have another E in him, and yeah, the strongest of champions on the enemy squad are still alive. Well, we still have Guma, so it's not going to end, but I have bad news for you. They, they have uh, Infernal Soul Point on the ready. They destroyed three inhibitors, so that's something. You know, we, see, we see the glimpses of what our champions could do, right, if we have not fallen 13,000 gold behind in 25 minutes for just fucking nonsense. I mean, I, uh, I mean props to, to, to BLG, right? It's like they see the moments and then they pounce, right? And, well... Good for them, good for them, right? They've been interactive at least with some things. Um, on the flip side, I mean, especially owners of all in the series, like, I don't know, man, like, invisible at moments, right? Really invisible, right? Like, whereas Jun, I mean, he's not getting gank off, gank off, gank off, gank off, but, I mean, yeah. Sure, owner now has, like, two out of three kill participation. That's, like, that looks cool. But, uh, that of, like, that of Vi has three kill participations in the game as a whole, right? That's, uh, that's, I think, a bit of a bigger issue. And, like, I'm not going to be like, okay, it's all his fault. Um, I think overall it's, uh, it's a bit of a, like, macro, like, issue, right? It's like, game after game, it's very, it's, I mean, it's not completely similar to game number one, but has like some shared similarities nice old there by owner but it's not going to matter right 13,000 gold that's not playable oh guma gets minion blocked that's pretty cool okay. it is what it is that game was not winnable after i don't know 15 minutes or something let's go next let's go next let's hope that t1 can crawl back in the next one i guess okay my friends I don't know, man. We're on blue side again. Jack's ban, Yon ban, Varus ban on the other side. Or whatever, whatever. Man, bros, we need it, man. We need, we need all the hope. Give the hope to T1. And I gotta lock the fuck in, man. Ah! Okay. We gotta lock in, man. We gotta lock in. We know to fucking clean our shit up and get on the stage. Get, oh, we're already on the stage. And get into the game and like show them what we've got, man. No more of this fucking sloppy la 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 la. Oh, let's die here. Ah, oh, let's die there. It's like getting caught here and there, and then we're never uh, as a five-man unit at any point where uh, we can contest for things. We're always one man down. We're always down on tempo or on anything, right? They get the objectives before any five can happen, and then oh, a fight happens, but we're thousands and thousands and thousands of gold behind. <laughs> not good. Not good. Anyway. Renata and what's her name? Ash have been locked in for us. I'd say that's a good thing. Their Ash answer is the um, what is that? It's it's the Vix. So that's something. No, no, please don't lock in Smolder. Please, no Smolder game. Nah, man. Faker with the blind Silas on Smolder. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, we have to. We have crushed Smolders before. We're going to do it again. Get that fucking baby dragon over here. I'm going to give him a fucking uh, punch or two. They have Zix and Smolder. Jesus fucking Christ, they're going to swap on our lanes, our asses so hard. But okay, maybe them playing a bit more of a, um, what is it? Calmer, laid back composition, I don't know, right? L less agency, may maybe, we have not seen the other champions. Maybe that's going to be good because, I mean, BLG has been the more proactive team, has been making the plays and that has been a big problem for us because we are silly little boys and uh, yeah, anyway. Now let's see, let's see. Faker ult here has some to steal, not the, the most beautiful, but I mean, Nar ult is always a classic, right? Remember the five man Nar ult Faker pulled up on against Gen, uh, not Genji, G2 in 2019. And then we remember where Teddy's ass, Ash went, flashed away. Very sad moment. Anyway, we have seen the bans, right? They're banning away owner's champions. He still has the Sejuani, so that's going to be cool, but maybe they're going to R for the Sejuani. Not really a good Sejuani angle for their team but it's going to be interesting right there's also the Sinjao ban so Sejuani should be the next pick but there's also no Vi is gone what's there what's what's left what am I missing uh no Vi no Sejuani no this no that that's also gone what's what's left is this what's what's the angle here 
We need something. No kindred or anything, owner, please, dear God. No kindred. No great. No, also no no graves. So let's see. So top lane, let's give me some counter pick. Let's let's see something. Slap something cool down. Yeah, get this, get this, get this uh, Zeus guy into a good matchup. Rumble. Okay, Rumble versus Nar. Whatever. Wukong. Wukong here. I don't know, man. I'm I'm I never really was the biggest Wukong enjoyer, so. I don't know if that's the right move, man, but it's like, anyway, just owner, please pick something and go out there and hit people on the head with the fucking stick. Do something, please. What's going to be a sca- oh, wait a second. Oh, Poppy, yeah, why not? Good call, good call. Hey, they are more on the radar than we are. This is also, right, the Poppy is now also a decent pick against Ons Rakan, right? That's at least something. But they could also go for... What else is there? Could they some melee support here? Is there a, a rel angle maybe? But rel against uh, this bot lane is not cool. Rel against Poppy is also not sexy. But I don't know, man. They go for Rakan, right? Rakan obviously also now another decent ult for Faker to steal. And I think overall we're fine with this game. The only obviously big downside is they have the two ZZZ uh, like tier champions, right? Smolder and Zix. If there's a swap situation you're going to go on, you know we're going to be 2,000 for 3,000 gold behind. Unless obviously they're swapping away from us. That's going to be not too bad. Uh, is that this drums guy who likes Lilia? Uh, uh, rule 34 whatever uh anyway obviously big 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 issue is there's a smolder in my game here like oh, how is there a smolder in my game can we get him out of here okay guys do you believe and uh, you gotta you gotta believe otherwise i'll I, i'll punch you bam bam watch out man you gotta believe okay so step one don't lose flash don't get first blooded on level one first step so next step is how do we want to win the game? How do we uh, like do things here in this game, right? Because the problem is they have Smolder and they have Zix. What does that mean? Why is that a fierce combo? Not only in lane swaps, but in general, right? Because on one side, it's really big. What is ca carrier? Why, man? Already chunked for... Uh, Anyway, uh, it's scary because not only is like, yeah, okay, AOE damage from long range and like DPS, high damage, scaling, la la la. But the thing is, like till night, till gets, uh, he gets to 20 minutes, right? Where obviously you know what Smolder does at that point, right? Um, till then, the Zix usually has a good amount of wave clear to stall the game out, right? That's why it's so good, right? Because the Zix kind of guarantees the, the Smolder to do well. Anyway, T1 here is looking for a swap against a Zix lane. Absolutely fucking criminal. I've, I I don't know what's going on. Sure, now let's talk about it, right? There's a Rumble who can... Oh no, no, owner, please, please. Okay, smites it, okay. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, um, there's Zeus who has like some wave clear, but I mean, that's not really a champion that can outplay dives super easily, right? So that's uh, that's a bit of a tricky thing. He also has the bone plating, which I mean makes sense, but uh, and it's already procced, so that's going to be annoying. 2v1 here in mid lane, so Bin is making his way into bot. They're going to four men our bro. Carrier already on the reset, but Carrier is not level two just yet. Okay, now level two, so that's cool. But when is the wave going to crash? Where's where's the wave? Okay, they're still on the red buff. Where's Carrier? Carrier's recall cancelled and he goes in again. Oh, Zeus in so much trouble. He's already getting chunked. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is also, is he he's not even close to level 2? Jesus Christ, carrier is so delayed. Oh my god. Man, what the fuck? This is so telegraphed. What? Are, uh, how does this work? Okay, Zeus now gets the level 2, flashes away from the stun or the, the knock up, whatever. Carrier is in time there with the bailout and I mean... It's a bit, it's a bit iffy. Okay, going for the redive. Carrier's ability is now on cooldown. He guys going to die as well. Where's the turret aggro? What? Where, where did the turret aggro go? Was it on Jun? Didn't Bin have turret aggro? Turret just decides to go off or what? Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Carrier flash heal and get nothing. And yeah, that's... That's why we swap. That's why we swap. So we deal zero damage to the top lane turret. Why the fuck do we swap? 
of the top wave is just gonna run towards it. Ultimately, though, PLG secure. Why the fuck kill. did we swap against Zix? And why the fuck? When we are swapping, are we the one giving the Zix. Uh, uh, the Zix opponent such a free first blood? Sure, carrier, wait for the level 2 on your recall, right? Because, like, I mean, level 1 support showing up on bot is just going to be more free food. But, uh, yeah, yeah, man, just recall immediately. Why did he cancel his recall or whatever? It's like that's the most telegraphed play, right? Especially they walk through top lane, uh, through mid lane into the bot, right? It's like, where are they going? They're not going for a fucking walk in the jungle, going to enjoy the scenery. No, they're going to go bot lane and trying to punish your friend. I mean, I can understand what Carrier then did with the flash bailout here and whatever. Right, he kind of went panic mode. Oh, they're, they're re-diving again. Zeus doesn't have flash, gets bounced around and they just, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? This is like, like uh, the, the level of play dropped from fucking TES, Gen G series, and now it's like, I don't know, like lowest of the lows in fucking summer split. What the fuck are we doing? And bro, it's the, the jungle gap. Is, uh, it's the fucking canyon, man. It's a fucking canyon. I mean, it's, it's just, can you get the cannon minion? No. Come on, get the cannon minion at least. Q gets the cannon. Okay, that's a dub in my book. But, I mean, it's just a fucking horror, right? Like, it's just a horror. It's 100% kill participation for, uh, what's his name? Jun? Owner again. Farming camps. Doing whatever. It's like, here, yeah, sure. It's like, he's on the grubs. So that's cool, right? And that's also the logic here behind uh, behind this play, right? It's like, oh, you don't expect Jun to be here because grubs are spawning. So that's fair. But I don't know, man. We're still standing in the middle of the lane without any vision pushing up. And we have not spotted Jun in top, right? So sure. Zeus sacrifice is going to net us some grubs. But uh, again, it's, it's, it's disrespectful, right? It's like, oh, we expect Jun to be top, but we have not seen him around. So it's like... Where is he? Why is he not here with the grubs, right? Uh, whatever. So at least we're not going to get six grubs again. Uh, whatever. We're not going to face six grubs, five grubs in this game. So that's at least something. But it's rough, man. The only positive thing is, like, even with all the kills, assists, and all of that nonsense, right? Bin is still behind by one level against Zeus and by a bit of gold, right? Because Zeus obviously got to farm. Bin not so much. On the other side, let's not talk about other other lanes, right? Okay. What is Faker looking for? Ashiba ah, going to get the W in. Does he have the old steel or something? Come on, old or something. Bomba. Faker with the solo kill and the turret dive. Yes, even though he misses the E. Ah, uh, that's nice, important. Look at the map. Okay, it's fine. Gets the shove into the wave as well. Probably can't stay for anything else. Should go for reset, right? Um, flash for flag. Oh, there's the ward. Right, because grubs are spawning and we kind of want to fight that one. Faker's ult should be up for grubs if it's going to be a longer contest. Um, okay, again, we're getting caught in this so often and there's a ward. We know they're there, man. We know they're there. It's going fine so far, but that's ult and carries HP. Ah, Shiba, man, it's like, for what, for what? There, there's the control warp, there it is. Can't you see it? It's here, it should give vision for most of this part, man. Why are we walking into the Sejuani again and again and again and again? Okay, okay, let's see, I mean, it's like night here at this point, he has no, no items, no nothing, right? Okay, there's the Ash Arrow, that we can connect there with anything. They're going to push things in. But what's the state of the grubbers? Hello, hello, help owner. Help, help owner. Hello, don't we want six grubs? Where's my team? Where's my team? Hello. Like, do we know that Jun is in bot? Do we know that Jun is in bot? I don't think we know that Jun is in bot. Like, eh? So far, so good, right? Oh, sadly, don't get the best stam. Meganar comes through. Owner still in turret, and Shibal is the word that we say there, no? Carrier behind enemy lines. Do we? Do, do they know? Do they know? Do we know? Oh, this just looks very messy. 
Oh no, oh gets a decent charge, but can Guma do the damage? Actually Zeus is also here is frying them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh no, next slam. Oh shit. Oh Guma, no! Oh, that's my AD carries flash. Carrier! Gets it in the end. Guma there is still flanking. Get the knock up. But we can't, we can't get that guy. No, 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 no. Calm down. Faker holds the door on top. Uh, they're first on the Rift Herald. Can't really do anything about that, right? If you look at the map, everyone's coming out of base with items, right? We are 1.4k ahead, which does not sound like a lot, but I mean, yeah. oh, it's, it's quite something. Especially on our champions here right now. Let's see, Sejuani all stolen, Bin comes over with the Mega Nar, and we are all in something that, yeah, a called a pit, right? Means there are lots of walls there. I don't know, our effective range can be high, but most of our, yeah. Oh my god, oh no, 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 what are we doing? Oh, we don't have enough damage, man, I'm losing my fucking mind, can I fucking... Good thing that I'm not American, otherwise, like, the shotgun is already loaded, man. I'm it's so annoying it's it's so fucking it's why are we diving a NAR that is like mega NAR stacking up why are we doing that that's the same stupid thing was it I think yeah TES did like what are we doing like even though we have owner there but it's like, like eh eh okay yeah gold lead thrown away against a fucking six smaller composition that's surely legal that's surely legal why are we going for the dive not going for the turret like they have TP advantage, right? And we're going for a dive onto a Mega Nar. It's like, there's just so much wrong there, right? We don't get the CC, uh, no carrier. No, no, no. We don't want to see any faces like that, like that. Oh, yo, man, six, two items already. Shiba. Uh, Zeus, no. Yep, Zeus hopefully walks the safest way, ults the wave, and that's going to be okay. Then we're going to... Can we make something happen in bot? We have six grubs, so gotta do something there again very unfortunate with the the dragon situation man like imagine if this was like i don't know anything else a mountain an infernal a hex tech even a cloud dragon would be cool. there's the oh fuck man faker here with the flank gets the old and gets the charm onto two there is the old from carry as well but where's the damage where's the follow-up there it is knight will fall down as well faker with the pickup on that one it's 20 minutes do you know what that means B -b 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 -baron time okay zeus actually says no we're running into mid lane turret as well we have the six scrubs so okay it's not going to be baron time maybe it is maybe we got the the fucking grand slam we pick up baron okay bo ba -ba -ba. Uh, zeus here I mean, hey, Ashiba! What is he doing? That's not worth it. In no parallel universe is that worth. What are you doing? What are they doing? What is that flash? Like, we needed you at Baron, man. We needed your damage. Now they're respawning. Jun is there. Carrier, uh, anyone, can we hold the door? There's the smite. There's Knight's TP. There's the handshake away. Bin with the Mega Nar bar stacking up. Knight has no ult. Okay, this can be quite annoying. Oh, no, 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 no. Bin with the Mega Nar has flash. Get ready for that one, my friends. We're splitting up Zeus here. <laughs> Would be cool if you had flash. Bozo, man. <sighs> what is it? 181. Okay, so at least Knight not stacked up. I mean, we picked up uh, one mid lane turret. We won the team fight. I don't know what that means. We picked up at least, I think, two kills, maybe three. Uh, something like that. Let's just say two, right? Let's be uh, considerate, right? Okay, so they pick up mid lane turret, we pick up the mid lane turret. So that's kind of one for one. Um, what else? Faker here? I mean, that's just gorgeous, man. Goes and gets the flash onto both hyper or like very important carries. Hyper carries, actually, true. Owner, nice follow up as well as carrier, obviously, very nicely layered. Uh, a bit little damage right so we don't get on but we get both carries and then we stick around for mid lane play i think that's okay right we know we have enough damage and here uh yeah i mean it's like i can't see the idea of turning for the fight but carrier faker are too low and like losing a fight here would lose the game right so sure if we win like if we would win such a fight here in this case it's good like we would probably also win the game but if we lose the fight we lose the game and there's no need to make such a call uh, when we have the baron buff when we are still in a fine position uh like speaking here 
well, smolder stacks, right? So obviously Zeus here a bit too high fee. I mean that flash was giga boosted, right? Uh, but we'll see. Okay, there's the arrow onto Elk. There's the follow up, and he flashes away immediately. Oh no, did he flash all there? I hope not, right? Does not look like a faker in the side lane. Picks up an inner turret as well. Pretty great. There's the combo carrier immediately. Oh my god, oh my god, we have the damage. There's Knight's ult coming through as well. That's pretty scary. Faker in the thick of things going in just like that. That's the fucking goat shit right there. Oh, never mind. Oof. Smolders, smolders too scary. Come on, calm down, my friends. Calm down. Oh, carrier, no. What? Wait. What was that pathing? What the fuck did I just witness? What what, what did he do? How do you... Uh, what? Uh, why would you ever dodge the Zix bomb like that, like that? I mean, it worked out. Okay, we picked up a bunch of turrets. We didn't crack open the base. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate because it means we need a second Baron. Even with six grubs, I mean, not going to soon, never. But it's very unrealistic that we get anything done here. Okay. They're trying to attack my goat, your my faker boy. Faker here, what he's doing is pretty funny. Um, he's just holding the wave here to like starve Knight out of stacks. I mean, he already is locked in, but to starve him out of stacks, to starve him out of uh, gold, right? And XP, pretty nice. It's not a like typical freeze, but it's hard to. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, nice. Uh, I mean, shouldn't like not that hard, but well done regardless, right? And. Yeah. Now let's see. That's not. No, 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 no. Look at map. Look at map. Look at map. We don't have our friends here. But oh, a pick onto Jun would be fucking huge. But there's the QSS. Okay, what's that? That's ult from Carrier or ult from Jun. Okay, one for one in that regard. Carrier with the handshake onto Elk. That's immediate slam dunk faker there on the side. Buys a bit of time, but we don't have enough damage for Elk. Ay, 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 ay. I think we're being too split apart here, but that's still a pick onto Jun. But if owner dies, that's worth nothing. Okay, guy. Great. Um, okay, Baron also has spawned. Can we get a push into top lane, mid lane? Already pushed. Bo bot lane doesn't really matter. We're getting the next vision plant as well. That is Faker. 500 kills at Worlds. Wait, what? Did, did he get a kill there? I didn't notice. That's okay. So Elk is going to have his ult going to be super scary because knight also obviously is smolder oh no 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 not on my zeus guy he has to stopwatch okay very cool we get a slow on tonight there but let's just back off i don't like running into them faker no what is he doing what's my goat doing he gets away but uh i mean i, I get it right he gets the like if he gets over the wall gets the now ult immediately and like ha if they have to follow up right with the renato ult that's Looks like it uh, was back on cooldown again. That could have been, I mean, like such a game-breaking play because at 27, 28 minutes, death timers are well, getting reasonably long. But I don't think we had a wave or anything. I think it's just unnecessary. I mean, maybe if he trades his flash or maybe hits his life for a couple of flashes, maybe that's actually worth, right? Because Elder Dragon obviously is spawning in a couple of moments, right? And if, uh, okay, that's... That's so... You, uh, Jun just hinted there. That was so bad by him. I mean, there's the angle of, oh, I need my flash to be able to defend now from the Baron push that is coming in. But I think that's just wrong. I think Elk and Knight will melt these Baron minions. Um, so I think that angle is wrong. I think like, you need to have the flash for the Elder Dragon steal or contest or whatever, right? So, the Baron buff, kinda as expected, didn't really offer too much. The most important thing is what we see here on the map. And we can't give it over. Oh, this pick is irrelevant. Don't need anything else. Okay. Oh, Poppy old use for this. I don't know if that's correct. It's cool because like on is dead till, uh, what is it called again? The Elder Dragon, which you know how that goes, right? Oh, Faker here with the TP looking for a flank. We're looking for a collapse onto Bin here. Bin has flash and has hop. So that's something. That's not over. Oh, we're looking for too many things at once. I feel like, okay, been here getting caught by the fake god. Uh, and, oh my god, Faker. Oh my god, yes. On the other side, let's not overcommit too much. There's the bomber. There's owner on the side. Knight here. Pew, 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 pew. Falls. But takes the Guma God down with him. Do we have any waves? I don't think we have waves. That's the problem. Do we have waves? Mid lane. Come on, mid lane should be good enough. And Elk also falls. Faker, what a game, man. 6-1-2. Such a better game by all of Team 1. 
Ay, 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 man, I'm losing my mind. The series is just so fucking stupid, man. And, I mean, overall, I think we see just the one thing, right? That's, like, this is a fucking knife versus knife fight. Uh, not knife versus knife, a knife versus knife fight, right? The one that gets, like, the first couple of cuts in is just going to, like, cut the opponent down. Actually, that's not true. T1 had a few, well, interesting things. What is Faker doing there? <laughs> anyway, just run it down one last time. Okay. We're going to go into game five, for fuck's sakes. I'm not going to comment on that. We all we all think the same things, right, in that context. So do 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 let's go into game five, my guys. Let's go. One last prayer for the T1s, man. For the T1s. Let's go. Okay my friends. Last game. We're on red side. So far, I don't know. I don't think red side is one hundred percent win rate or lose rate or whatever. But it has been rough. Regardless, we shove all out of that. Out of the window and in we go into this draft. Let's just see. Let's just see and let's just preach, man. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Are we banning jacks? First question. No, we are not. Bin, get jacks for game number five. That's a slam down first pick. Now, let me see the fucking AP that Johnny top lane the zeros. Let, let, uh, let's show it. Actually, I don't know, man. But let's see. I mean, Zeus has been the better top laner in this series so far. Even last game, was it last game? Where he went 0-3 in the early game after repeated attacks. He has still performed outside of the laning phase to such a great degree. And, oh, there's the Gragas. Yep, I like that more than the Sejuani top, to be honest. Slam down the Gragas. It's also a flex pick, right? It can go jungle, it can go support, it can go mid lane, right? Gragas, the ultimate champion in the League of Legends game, right? It's a champion that you can pick in any role besides... Uh, what's it called again? Uh, AD. I don't know if I like this Gagalio so much, though. Not sure why we're slamming that one down. Obviously, you don't really want to have Galio and Jax uh, on the opposite squads because just enables the, the Jax uh, players to do more of the silly things. I mean, Faker is is Galio, right? It's literally him. Look, look. Do you see? Do you see the wings besides them, or is that just me? Right. Right now, this means that there's a Silas that can get a uh, Gragas ult, that can get a Galio ult. That's scary. Not only that, because oh, is it going to be an early slapdown of the Kaiser? So far, it has been banned or well pushed off for later, right? With Ash and Kalista being often open. No, Kalista and Jax, I mean, the purple theme, right? The purple, zack, zack. Add another purple champion to that? Okay, maybe it's time for the Ari, right? So far, not been picked in this series so far. There it is and smiles across the face. Obviously, ooh, he's the Ari player. He's the Syndra player. Knight is somehow the best player in every champion or something. I don't know, man. But, uh, hey, let's just have, let, let's just, uh, let's do your thing. Let's do your thing. Hey, I asked my guy and he's called Guma and he's, uh, ooh, actually picking up the Zaya. Zaya looks fine here, no? It's one of his best champions. Yeah, nice. And it's going to get banned out, right? So now we're keeping owner pick, potentially, right? And uh, something else. So that's going to be a Rakan ban and probably a Poppy ban that we have to assume here from BLG. And these are good bans. These are bans that we don't want to see. So if they're not banning the Poppy or the Rakan, we are having a fucking Merry Christmas. We also need to pick them then. That's a different topic. But we'll see. Now our question here, or our goal should be to just... Get Jun of comfort. Get Jun of anything that's annoying, right? That guy so far has been phew, pretty impressive. Hi, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. So the Monkey King already. We can't play that in the LCK. Give that or like ban that. The LPL is playing that all the time. Yep. Next one, uh, Kindred. I don't know if that about that one, but it's annoying, right? Get rid of it, right? Sure, we have Gragas against it, but. Like ah, let's get that, let's get that variance, let's get that nonsense out of my face. Renata, okay, that means we can slam down the poppy here. Poppy, 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 poppy. Has to be poppy, right? Sure, there are some supports you might want to pick here, but no, 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 no. Pick the poppy. You have the poppy flex potential into the support, and you also have secured the pick against these dash champions from BLG, and then yet you also get the R5 counter pick. You have to pick the poppy here. Yeah, it has to be puppy, please. Look at them, slam it in! Nice! Nice. 
Great. We don't need extra damage. These motherfuckers are squishy as hell. And we have Guma God, man. He's going to deliver. Zeus also going to get, 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 get them pregnant. Plop, plop, plop. With the the bus in uh, Gragas build. Okay, yeah. So Johnny here. Yep, that's annoying. But it's okay, right? Jar, oh, Jarvan is even worse. Ugh. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. I mean, obviously, both champions would be like, uh, yeah, la la versus Poppy, but oh, no, 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 no. A Blitzcrank without setup? That's, the, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, pick that one, please. <laughs> it's a bit better for us. I, I don't know if it's better. I mean, Blitzcrank, Feast of Famine, right? Oh, nah, you don't have the balls. You don't have the balls. You don't have the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. So obviously, Rel is better than Blitzcrank in most cases, but obviously Blitzcrank is like annoying. You don't want to face Blitzcrank in R5, right? It's like, ew. Uh, but yeah, look at BLG. It's like one of the LPL champ uh, comps of all time, right? It's not Alistair Kaiser, but it's Rel Kaiser. It's the new flavor, right? Jarvan, maybe not the LPL champion, but some. No, 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 no. What? Wait, what? I mean, we talked about the damage and I was a little uh, putting all that damage responsibility. Let me think. Is that, is that, is that correct? Wait, what was the other thing that I wanted to pick for support? But Carrier, I mean, Carrier Poppy is also good, but it's like, is he good, as good as owner? And now no range support? Actually, what range support could have been cool here? Yeah, well, whatever. Gets a Sinjao, be a bit more tankier, be a bit more brawlier, right? They have some pick tools, they, like, let's not get one shot, right? So that's that, that looks pretty cool, right? So there's like some anti-synergy, right? Gragas ult and Sinjao ult, we're pushing the enemies away twice, so that's like, yeah. Then we have Galio ult coming down, but we want the enemies to split up. It's like, yeah, it's a bit all over the place, but it's going to be fine. We have Gragas for our boy Zeus, like he's so good on it. We have... Uh, like Zaya for Guma. We have Galio for Faker. Poppy for Kerry. It's like, okay, it's good. It's not maybe the most amazing thing, but it's good enough. And I mean, owner is trying his best, right? This jungle pool has been attacked in this one. Easy Hoon. We know you, we respect you. But not today, man. It's not today. Let's just see. I mean, on the other side, like LPL has a lot of comfort champions. We have a lot of comfort champions. I think. In this game, we just have to hope that we're not fucking up things in the early game and that we can get to the fights and that we can then leverage like the abilities that like the Poppy, the Zaya have, our, our, our champions again. It's like, if they run into us, eh, 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 we're having a good time, right? If they run into us, it's so good. It's like, imagine you run into a Galio, you run into a Garagas that's going to body slam ult you, you're running into a Poppy with W up and that ults away your follow up or your other friends. You're running into a Zaya. I mean, I don't have to mention it. The only, like, okay, let's then. If they run into us, we, we're just balling, right? Unless they're 10,000 gold ahead and we don't group as five, la, 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 that we have seen in other games so far. But now let's talk about some of the things that could be a bit tr troublesome, right? A really good Ari has like so much effective range. It's not just the Q or E range, right? Because it's the R plus E range. That's the effective range of an Ari. And that's in theory. But not every Ari player can really leverage that RE range, right? So that's that. Elk, he has the press the attack, so he should go AD, right? That's or like the hybrid build. But that also the hybrid build on three items, you know what it means, right? It means that the W poke comes in flying and our champions, we have no engage, right? So if we fall behind and we are lacking in vision, right? It's not that we can make uh, picks or something. We can obviously look for things. It's just not that great and add to the top of that they have elk that can just poke into our face right and sure gragas is the ultimate equalizer especially into melee matchups right so that's that but at some point bins jacks is just going to do jacks things right we have to hope that he goes for zonia second or some bullshit like that and we get like a free win but we'll have to see here bin goes in and I don't know, man. Did he get XP there? No, he did not. Yeah. I mean, you hope to get like some of the XP, but yeah. Okay. Where is he going? Okay. But whatever, whatever. Let's see, let's see. This time T1 is the one with the aggression, right? Obviously, it's always the one that is in bot lane. That is in most cases setting up for the dive. 
This here is just going to la 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 la. Bit weird, but it, the, the passive didn't get proc, so it's fine. Now let's see. Uh, I don't think we should go for the dive here. Our champions, sure we can dive, we have some damage, but we're all auto attacking and doing that against the Jax uh, is just not sexy. Like on is also here, we should know that uh, Elk is not here, right? We can harass, we get the plate, we have fun, but that should be about it. Oh, nicer! Who's the fucking goat? It's Faker! <laughs> but no, he doesn't have flinch. <laughs> That's uh, unfortunate. But Buffers gets the W in, but uh, yeah, it's a two versus one. It's unfortunate. Now let's see, Elk. Pay your flash cooldown. There's a slam into the wall. Ignite comes through. Yep. Elk has to flash. Nice. Oh no, Ashiba. If we get that knockout, man, we can get on flash as well. But okay, we get a flash. Faker's flash in mid lane. Like, that's the unfortunate thing. It's like. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, and now with the extra kill, that helps Knight so much, right? Because Faker had, like, such a good time in this lane. And now, like. The first blood, right? The few minions that Faker missed because of the situation, right? Faker also chose not to TP. Now he is like a level behind. Like it's a, it's a horror, right? From winning mid lane, getting the solo flash cooldown, right? Winning trades, looking cool and so on. That's uh, now a thing of the past. Okay, been here looking to get ganked. We're looking, we're just fishing for something. Maybe we can get a cooldown here. And yeah, I mean, he gets the bonk back onto owner. But overall, the idea is we're pushing our top lane, collapsing for the for the grubs, right? Especially if Bin is on top. Oh no, Owner here, getting attacked. But that was just really messy. Owner goes back in again. There's Faker with the old carrier, also dashes forward on, lives with a slimmer of HP. But just for a moment, Zeus didn't look like he get the combo perfectly. And now we don't actually have cooldowns. Yeah, that was a bit messy. I think T1, we could have gotten like 10 kills here or something. Um, on obviously, I don't know. It looked weird. I'm not a rel player, so maybe it was okay, but in my eyes for the split moment, right, it looked wrong. Maybe he fucked something up there, but I don't know, right? I think you should always get uh, owner there, but regardless, owner flashes away. We get the grubs, three grubs, yum, 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 yum. We get a kill as well. Let's see if Bin overcommits. We don't really have too many cooldowns here to force anything crazy, but uh, yeah, overall positive situation. And especially if you remember bot lane, right? Uh, minions were also lost, right? T1. Okay, let's see it again. I think owner should always die here. Oh, yeah, he missed on misses on misses Illegal it's whatever faker here under attack. He has the flash And yeah gets a taunt on three people another one comes in and faker with just the flash makes the escape I mean, it's a flash or flash. They invest four people look at side lanes. We're collecting waves We're not pushing into tower, but I I I, I Three grubs, uh, next grubs are spawning, two minutes, okay. Two minutes, we, sa we have some times. I'm not sure if we can get first item completions till then. Guma is mighty strong, but first item is quite expensive. Gets, okay, plate comes down. Oh, on what is he doing? Delivering a kill for us. Uh, no procs, so Kaiser can't, e oh, Kaiser is level five. Never mind. just the 2v2 kill, man. Ooh, that's the power we want in game number five. Ooh, Faker here gets the taunt and as well. Nyum, nyum, nyum. Knight, I mean, I'm not going to say too much, right? Because like we're still here in an okay situation. We've not won the game yet. But I mean, it's like picking Ari against Faker. Like, do you know Ari only answers to one guy? Only one summoner, master, whatever. Let's not make it kinky, man. But uh, yeah, I mean, picking Ari against Faker, that's just crazy. Anyway, Zeus now on board. He's going to collect that first blood turret. Carrier here. He just needs to press W. Yep. There's the TP from uh, what's his name? Knight. Carrier doesn't have flash, but he just yeah sacrifices himself. Oh, flash onto Guma. That's scary. That's scary. That's very scary. Faker, where's the old? Where's the old? Where's the Galio old? Ah, oh, I think he's not in range. Oh, he's oh he's far from it. Ah, uh, Shiba. We pick up the uh, first blood turret in bot lane. It would all have been sexy, but I don't know uh, what happened. Faker, maybe he was on a base or something because he was not like around, right? But again, our composition is so good if we play it right. If we play uh, for the counter engage. If we play for for the, the, that kind of stuff. Stuff. 
then we are winning. If we are the ones engaging with just this 2000 gold lead, it's not enough. It's not enough. We can be in a difficult situation, right? So we're going to trade the neutral objectives. Um, that's fine, right? Getting uh, the Herald, 200 gold for that. Nice. Uh, sure, we're sacrificing the the first uh, the second dragon, so that's going to delay the stacking. But with uh, Infernal and with Hextech already down, it's not the most important thing. What soul is it going to be? Oh, that's going to be interesting. So top lane turret already down. Zeus here with owner might be able to take mid lane down. Jun? Jun? Hello? Smite? Or anything? And... Okay, Cloud. Cloud, let me think. Cloud is good for both. Yeah, Cloud is good for both. Now let's see Poppy ult here. Yeah, nice. TP. Yeah, I mean, I think we could have played on two lanes there. I, um, and I think with that we could have maybe gained a bit more. But yeah, Zeus. What? What happened to his E? Did he get stuck by an invisible minion or something? Boom. Bop. Carrier. Ah, but there's the Jun guy. Ah, Shibon. I mean, okay, bin old for Zeus old, that's fine. Again, the top lane turret would always die. At, at least we're getting the dragon, right? That's the that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see Gragas, that champion is just so fucking good. And smite comes through, nice. And I mean, they have some damage, but they don't have enough damage or enough tankiness or anything right now to deal with uh, the Baron, right? So that's not a concern right now. Okay, the, the problem also is, like, obviously red side is pretty good uh, in, like, defending the Baron, but red side is not the best side for what, randomly starting the Baron, right? Especially with our champions, sure. In theory, you think, okay, you can attack over the wall, you can dash over the wall, sneak in like that, and that's true. But again, that's why I said not with these champions, right? With these champions, it would be easier on blue side to start the Baron and, like, force the enemy comp to, like, do things. But, yeah, it is what it is. Now let's see, mid lane, wave pushed in. I think Gragas is on the Baron, on the Dragon. No, he did the, okay, he did the, what is it, the, the scuttle. Boom. Oh, a little chunk there onto on. Uh, Faker commits the old. Ah, uh, she, that's not good. That's actually not good. That's 27 seconds. I think the dragon would have been ours anyway, but Faker now has no ult for the next 20 minutes or something. Remember, man. Sure, it's level 15, but it's just the second rank ult, right? I mean, that's good. It's good, right? It's the same thing that BLG did in a couple of games against us, right? One guy gets caught, ha ha ha, and then, oh fuck, we can't fight for the objective anymore. Sounds like a stupid thing, but it's just... I mean, I think it's very basic. It's just, I think, on the, on the team fucking it up. Especially in this one. I mean, I think there can be way, uh, like creative ways to generate picks where you can say, okay, the team picking someone off is actually doing something good actively. But I think in most cases, it's, it's like this, where like one guy is just like, la la la. Like, I see the Gragas and let's shake hands, right? We're stacking dragons. Soul is three minutes away. Uh, at three minutes, I think four items won't be reached, but three items will be there for everyone. And that means like Zonias for top laners, right? That means, I mean, no, junglers won't have anything. That means Zonias for mid laners. That's going to be four stopwatches. That's going to be crazy. I don't know who's going to benefit more of that. Because on one side, T1's, like, T1 is a team comp that is very ult reliant to some extent. Not co totally, but to some extent, right? And if you can, Zonias, they're good ults, right? The Galio Slam or the, the Gragas ult or something like that, right? If you can ult uh, Zonias these. Oh, let's see. Shattering stack forward, carrier flashes away, Guma caught there. Ah, uh, Shiba. Objective has not spawned. What are we fighting for? Guma caught there. No, what is going on? Faker is in top. What are we fighting for? There is no dragon here. Faker flashes forward. What are we doing? I don't. Do we win this? I don't think we win these. Faker with the slam. Uh, there's the Zonias that actually we win these. We win these, man. We have the biggest of. Oh my god. Maybe that's because. 
Faker's just a goat, man! He's just a goat, man! What the fuck? He flashes back in? I am so fucking stupid! I think, oh, do we win this? Uh, man, I need to fucking lock in, man! Faker knows best, man! He goes in, and I should fucking trust! And I trusted, well, when it worked out, but... God damn it, man! Look at this guy, man! He's locked in! Slams the Galio fucking down! We are so ready for the fucking... Ah, Galio skin! Okay, let's calm down a bit. Let's not jinx anything too aggressively. Five members are alive and we're getting the Baron on five. We don't have the biggest of damage, but we have owner in the area, so we have at least smite. And I mean, there are still death timers for that, so okay. Lock, let's lock in. That was so crazy, man. That fight was so in, man. I was ready to fucking fly to London, dodge all the knife-wielding asylums there, and then go into the OTU arena and slap some uh, some cheeks look at the map faker is in top lane faker isn't his tp on cooldown i thought his tp was on cooldown whatever it's like and what are we fighting for what are we like posturing for there's nothing here dragon is spawning in three minutes or something at that point not sure what knife was doing probably anticipated something then yeah i mean Guma's just left alone right there well there's just so much and now let's look let's look this man faker is saying nah man Baron time? No, oh, you are getting your ass cheeks clapped. Boom, bada ba, boom, pow. Goes in and obviously Zeus, where we see the value of the Gragas man. So much healing, so much like decent da base damage. And Bins E, or no, not E, not e Bins Zonias, right? It kind of ba a little baits Elk because maybe he thinks Galio is not going to hit him, but nope. Galio flies through the jacks into his face. And it's like he's literally the hero. It's the hero's entrance. It's literally everything. Oh, shit. I mean, okay, that's five people top, but Faker will arrive! Oh, into the Zonias though, but he has the W. Faker's so tanky, but Zeus as well, but they are fucking five people. Faker still gets the kill, oh my god! Where are the Avengers? Where are the other heroes? Faker, does he get one more W through? He has the stopwatch till the fucking very end and dashes to the side, gets the W down, and Faker is going to survive! Oh my fucking god, what are we watching, man? It's the fucking second coming of Christ or something, that guy! Jesus Christ, Riot Games, you need to do Hall of Legends next year again. Give this guy, in, like, five more skins, man. Jesus Christ. That's 30 seconds. We have Baron. We have six drops. Can we finish here from this point, even? Can we finish from this point? Someone needs to hold my hand, man. I'm just losing my mind here. 16 seconds and something. We are at 31 minutes. Four items on Guma. Is it... Oh, man, I need to hear the fucking casters are they going to make some fucking gold lines when t1 does the impossible three time oh my fucking god yes yes the past present future just like that guy just said t1 they do it again Mwah. beautiful just fucking beautiful t1 versus the lpl it's inevitable zeus three finals two championships faker his fucking fifth one fifth Oh my fucking god, they're so good. And look, I remember how this series went. They played fucking dog shit in the earlier games. But then the switch has been flipped. They locked in. And the fifth one is for all of you guys. It's for all of us, man. The T1 fans that have given them the energy. And hey, there's my boy. That's Reckless, man. The fifth one is for Reckless and so on and so on. That would obviously have been a great joke. Jesus Christ, man. And now think about the careers of these guys, man. Like Zeus. Three year career, second place world champion and another world championship. That's fucking crazy. Guma, carrier owner, oh boys. Back to back to back finals, back to back champions. Man, they're now in the same realm as our legends of the past. We see the fucking false ghosts manifest Star Wars style of Bang, Wolf, and somewhere there is also our brother Bengi, right? They're all watching as our new generation of boys, right? Again, present and future are making the possible possible. BLG, they played good. As a team, you could even say they were better at many times in the series. But the individual powers of these teams, especially, I mean, Faker, what was that? What was the series? That guy actually went so fucking crazy. And I mean, it's, it's not the same as 2017 where his teammates were fucking shackled on his fucking ankles. Like the others, they, they did great, but I mean, Faker was just a next level player today. What the fuck did we witness? That is a historic performance. That guy's Galio, it's fucking insane. He has to get a Galio skin. Give him fucking five Galio skins. It's crazy. It's crazy.
man, from nearly not making it. Look, remember Summer, like the wrist injury is coming back up again for Faker, changing his entire setup and nearly not making it against KT and the fucking down one series, right? Oh my god, beating the demons in Gen G, beating the EWC finalists uh, TS, right? Beating the LPL again, beating BLG, like for a first time in a best of five, right? But it's T1 versus the LPL. It's T1 at Worlds. It's 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 it's. it's I can I I'm lost for words. Even though I'm monologuing and rambling on like a fucking maniac in a psych psychiatric ward. No, get ready for the moment. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hey. T1. 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 Ay, ay, ay. At this point, they can just take it, right? They can just take it. It's theirs. It's like, no one else gets to touch it anymore. And you know also what that means? That means another year of Zeus, owner, Guma, and Carry and Faker for next year, right? Faker already also has the contract for next year. Carry him and all the emotions. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. This series was degenerate, right? That's World Finals. World Finals, it's never good. It's never good. You never see good League of Legends and World Finals most of the time, right? It's never clean. But I, the way the series ran up, it just uh, so many crazy plays. I just, I'm so ready for the highlight montages. And I mean, you, while you're watching this, obviously it's uh, been like 10 hours after the actual finals because my silly ass takes so much time editing like these videos. And we've recorded for three hours and so on and so on. But what a treat. What an amazing Worlds run this was again. Like, ay ay ay. And I remember game number one, like day number one, a loss against TES with the Jin Quadra kill. I mean, we're already, it's like, ah, oh, fuck. But, hey, we believe, we trust it, we cheered for them every time it matters. Oh my god, Carrier, <laughs> barely gets it up. Well deserved, well deserved. And Guma, ah, yeah, yeah, man, Carrier, Guma, what the duo, man, what the duo, man, what the duo. Zero's at the ball, at the ground. Hey! Faker, I mean, it's just, like, there's nothing like him, in, in, like, in, like, nowhere, it's just, it's insane. Fucking, that guy reaches three, like, like, think about this, Faker has reached back to back to back finals, twice in his career, twice, 15, 16, 17, and now this, and it's, a, it's a, the same result, right, where it's like two wins and obviously then one second place, it's like, that guy is so insane. And it's like everyone's like, oh yeah, Chovy, Showmaker, Knight, the next Faker, the next what? Prove it. Like like he said to Chovy, prove it. But they can't. They can't. They step up to the goat. Uh, step up to the king and you better not miss or whatever, like, taking over it was. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Do we get now? New era, same empire. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh! Yo, the new star! Yo, they knew! They knew! What the fuck? Uh, they probably has this pre have this prepared for, uh, like, BLG as well. I, I know, but... It's like, damn, that, that was cool. That was fucking cool, man. Heavy is the crown. Heavy is the fucking uh, schlong that is in their pockets. Now I'm just going to enjoy, man. I'm just going to enjoy. I'm going to smile. Look at my boy, man! Look at him! That cute motherfucker! Look at his grin! He's like, yeah, mm, mm hmm I'm the GOAT. I know. I know. your very first world title. We are now more than a decade later. It's so insane. Is there, is there anything like that in, like, in esports and anything else? It's crazy. It's so insane. It's so insane. Especially in comparison to every other, like, sports. Or I don't. I mean, I I'm not. I don't know other esports too well, right? But if you look at like football or I don't know what Americans play, like American football or baseball, whatever, right? The game roughly stays the same. Sure, strategies change, tactics change, training gets better, players get better, right? Do better, do to better training. But the game stays the same. It's hard to stay good in these games. 
for for that for that long. But League of Legends is changing every fucking two weeks with a new patch, every year with a new uh, like what is it uh, season updates and shit like that. And it's also like such an intensive sport for like your your hands, right? It's insane. And he pulls off stuff like that today. Thanks to all the support from my fans. Give you a hug, Faker. Big hug. Looking back at the journey we had throughout Worlds this year, I am extremely proud of the path that we were work walk walking on. So I was thinking to myself, regardless of the outcome, I will be just really happy and proud of ourselves. And I am very grateful that I managed to win this back to the title. So I was in tears. No, how cute, man! Carrier, like these T1 guys, they are such sweet guys, man. We're so happy, like that we get, like that the best players, right? That they're like kind guys, like this guys. No trash talking, no disrespect, no shitting. They just love each other so much, and they love the fans, and we love them. And then they play also some good League of Legends, man. It's just all coming together, man. It's just amazing, man. Koma is like the dad that comes home with the milk, and he brings the World Championship titles with it, right? Joe Mar is doing such a good job. I mean, I don't know, right? But from what we can tell with like the videos they post, from what everyone t talks about, it's like the 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 T1 coach, uh, the, the the coaching staff. Who knows? But the staff they have behind it in organization and taking care of the players, like, seems to be so good, right? Owner man, today was maybe his his best day. So maybe the the haters are going to come out of the nests again. But owners, like Summer was. Okay, uh, no, 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 that's wrong. His summer had like a few rough days, but overall, I think it was not really on him most of the time as a jungler. It's like kind of tricky at times, but obviously playoffs was rough. But then he coming into Worlds, he was he was performing so well. Today wasn't the greatest of days for him, honestly. Uh, but as the series progressed, similar to the other T1 members, he picked up the slack, had more impact, got onto the rift, was more proactive, right? And it worked out well. Right. It worked out well. Hmm? No, no, no. Don't give him English food. Please don't give him English food. Please, no. Maybe that's why they played so bad at the earlier parts, because they tried English food or something. Oh, no. They probably didn't eat English food. They only went to Korean places. They always do the same. No, it's not good. It's not good. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? He's lying. He did not eat English food. No way he did that. Now, while you are, of course, all champions, it is now to acknowledge, time to acknowledge the contribution of one player in particular. It has to be Faker. If it's not Faker, it has to be Faker. It has to be Faker. Sorry. With all the glazing, last year Zeus was deserved, but this year it has to be Faker, it has to be. Like, as much as I'm an ultra Faker fanboy, I know, but it has to be him, it has to be him. That means we're getting a Faker Prismatic Galio skin. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit, we're getting a Prismatic Galio skin? Ah, oh, fuck. Whatever. Hey! T1, 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 T1. Based on those cast by a panel of experts, each representing experts, yeah. the regions competing at Worlds this year, your 2024 OPPO MVP is... Faker! Yes! Okay, no fucking gla- uh, no fucking bullshit. So deserved. Look at this guy, man. He is... I, I, I can't believe what he did today. There were so many moments where it's like I lost my mind. I mean, I'm always losing my mind with T1. Like, if I'm not losing my mind, I'm not watching T1, right? Oh my god. That, look at his fucking grin. That guy, man. It's like, in all these years, look at him, man. You can see, like, he obviously, like, he always tries to, it's like, hmm, yes, right? But you, you can see how much happy, like, how happy he is, right? You can see it in his eyes. You can... Try to hold down the smile, but you can never like stop your eyes from smiling. It's impossible. Yeah, the f uh, the fourth one is for my team. The fifth one is for the fans. I mean, ah uh, yeah yeah. I mean, I just, how can you not like that guy? How can you not like that guy? Like, I, 
don't I know that what, what, like what do these faker haters do what's like how broken do they have to be to like hate faker like what? I mean to be fair to be fair if T1 and faker pump forms well everyone has a better day no so faker is just doing charity for the world right now it's like fighting so that other people can be happy well not so much Chovy and Knight but <laughs> no don't, don't no it's not over yet let's have some more fun uh, hey. T1, 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 T1. So next year, do we get a better music music video? I mean, come on, they, 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 like this year they had a lot to work with for the video. Next year they have even more stuff. Come on. Now obviously the new shirt. Oh, okay, it's ready for all the pictures, right? I didn't get the fucking. Uh, uh, the, the jersey, right? I tried it again and again, but it's always sold out. I stayed up to fucking 4, what is it, AM, PM, whatever. Like, the one that's late, late or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it still didn't work out. No way, no way! We're ready for the fucking picture! Reckless, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> okay, uh, we don't get a good shot with him, with the trophy. Maybe not yet. Maybe we need to wait for a moment. Reckless with the world's trophy. It's insane. It's insane, man. What timeline are we in? The best of timelines. Anyway, what what a world. Anyway, that's going to be it. I think for this video, it's very long. I thank you for watching. Even if you skip through it, hey, it's a long video. I understand. I understand. I hope you enjoyed worlds, especially finals. And I hope you cheered for T1. And I hope you're going to cheer for T1 in the next season. I mean, it has been a wild ride. It has been amazing. I, I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words. So many nice comments throughout the world's event. It's always a treat to hang out with you guys and chat in the comments. Fever in, uh, in the positive and in the negative sense with T1. In the ups and downs. And uh, I mean, hey, it's up, up, up at world so far. Let's hope we can carry that momentum into next year. We'll have to see what the future has for us. But we know one thing. The past present and the future it's always going to be t1 and that's going to be it take care hug your family kiss your loved ones and bye bye my friends